Everyone says our tax system needs to be more fair, and they're right. We do need to make sure that the wealthiest Americans pay their fair share of taxes. We also need to address the fact that a large percentage of Americans pay no income tax at all. But when someone says it all comes down to rich versus poor, they're wrong. We also need to tackle two other important questions that get lost in the rich versus poor debate. First, we need to discuss fairness for individuals with the same amount of total income. Right now, two people of roughly the same income wind up paying significantly different amounts of federal taxes. Here's what I mean. Let's say my neighbor and I have roughly the same income, but he has employer-paid health insurance while I'm self-insured. He owns a home while I rent, and he makes his income primarily through investments, whereas I make mine through wages and other income. When it comes time to pay Uncle Sam, our tax bill and effective tax rates will be very different. Is that fair? Of course not. The cause of this is what we call tax expenditures. The various deductions, credits, exclusions, and exemptions in our enormous federal tax code and the different tax rates applicable to certain types of income, such as dividends and capital gains. Tax expenditures, in essence, represent backdoor spending through the tax code, and they cost the federal government over $1 trillion a year. While most agree that some tax expenditures are worthwhile, such as charitable giving, many others should be outright eliminated or at least reformed in a way that makes common sense. Second, we need to consider fairness across generations. Failure to pay for the government we have today simply forces others to pay for it tomorrow because eventually the bill comes due. Is it fair that we have over $65 trillion in liabilities and unfunded obligations? There's no free lunch, and those who will be stuck with the bill are our children, grandchildren, and future generations. It's morally reprehensible to pass the buck along to those who are too young to vote and have not even been born yet. To make our tax code more fair, we need to make sure that the wealthiest pay their fair share of taxes and make sure that enough Americans contribute. But we also need to eliminate or reduce many tax expenditures so that we are fair to people with similar income levels. And we must vow to fix these problems sooner rather than later so that we don't wind up further mortgaging our children and our grandchildren's future. From now on, when we talk about how to make our federal tax system more fair, we should stop focusing on just one issue of rich versus poor. Instead, we need to start talking about multiple dimensions of fairness, because only then will we move beyond the sound bites and political posturing to meaningful and equitable tax reform. Find out what you can do by going to keepingamericagreat.org. Thanks for viewing.